It was just horrible. It was a horrible experience. Something Karen Ellis never imagined would happen to her in a medical facility. She claims last July, as she rested in her Detroit receiving hospital bed, recovering from two procedures, a Detroit Medical Center employee who came to deliver her dinner sexually assaulted her. He said the same thing, you, you're a nice looking lady, can I touch your body? I said, no, what do you mean? No, get away from me. You know, I was just so weak, I couldn't holler, scream, or kick or anything. Instead of leaving, Karen says the employee, who we are not naming until he is criminally charged, shut the privacy curtains and began fondling her breasts. He said, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to, you know, touch you. I just want to see your body. I was like, no. Then he went on, I was laying on my left side of my body. And he went on to the right side and removed my gown open and started fondling with my private area and my behind and my breast. Because of the medication, Karen was weak, barely conscious, but she says she mustered up the strength to report what happened to a nurse's aide who responded, quote, I don't have anything to do with this, end quote. Karen's nurse eventually helped to report it to the supervisor who called police. Karen was transferred to another room and claims the food service employee came back and tried to say she was crazy. I wasn't confused or anything. I know what happened and I know who did it to me. And so do police. We're told detectives with the Detroit Police Sex Crimes Unit have investigated the claims and have now turned the case over and a warrant request to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. In the meantime, we're told the suspect has been fired from the Detroit Medical Center. I'm sure this wasn't the first time this guy tried it. It wasn't. And maybe there's somebody out there, other individuals are just afraid to come forward. And we're saying, no, come forward. A spokesperson for DMC says any allegations of this nature is treated with utmost seriousness and immediately reported to law enforcement. They have provided full cooperation with the investigation. Him being fired is fine, but we need to set an example. No, this behavior is not tolerated. I want him off the streets before this happens to anyone else. In Detroit, Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News.